So I've been home from Thailand for like a week and a half now. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time back in the UK. Like, I like it here, man. Tired of the UK slander all the time. Tired of it. Tired of UK slander. Oh, this is a shithole, bro. Oh, bet you're never coming back to this shithole. Bet you never want to come back to England, bro. Bet you're pissed that you're back home, bro. Tired of the English slander, man. So me, I am half English, half Nigerian. And I didn't look very mixed. Andrew Tate is as black as me, which is like the mad thing. But like, yeah, I'm, I'm mixed race, half English, half Nigerian. I've be, I was born in England. I've lived in England my whole life. I was raised by my white mother. I have a white family. I'm, I'm just, I'm basically just English. I'm half Nigerian in my blood, but like, I don't, I don't really know my dad. Don't speak to my dad. Don't really know my Nigerian side of my family. I've never, I've never lived in Africa. I've just lived here in England my whole life. But yes, I am half English, half Nigerian. And obviously growing up as well, like I sort of fell victim. I sort of fell into this trap, you know, of where we're sort of conditioned to just slander England for some reason. Just be ungrateful. We're conditioned to be ungrateful. Where like, we're not, like in school, like if, if, if you think of like hundreds of years ago, like I can imagine that you would be like sort of taught to be proud of your country. I know Americans are always, like, super proud of being American, right? But in English, why are we not taught to be proud of being, like, English? Why are we not taught to be proud of our country? Why are we not taught, like, how amazing the British Empire was? Instead, no, we're just made to feel like, um... We're just, we're just made to feel guilty, apparently, for conquering other countries. <laughs> why are we not taught to be proud of our country? And why are we not taught to love our country? Because, like, all, all the time, everyone's slandering England. I love England. England's a great country. England's a beautiful country. And this is coming for someone that literally just went and lived in Thailand for 31 days. I'm telling you, now that I'm back home, I can appreciate England's beauty. England is truly a beautiful country. Yes, if you go into the city, it might be a little bit degenerate. It like, might be a little bit depressing. But if you actually go out of the city, the, and you actually go into nature, you go into the English countryside, it's a beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful place. So don't judge England based on its cities because, to be honest, cities all around the world are the same. That's why I didn't go to Bangkok while I was in Thailand. I've got no desire to do that. Cities are all, well, for the most part, cities are all pretty shit, in my opinion. I don't like, I don't really like being in the city. It's full of degeneracy, godlessness. It's just full of, you know, air pollution and just concrete everywhere. Like, I don't like that. I like being around God's creation. I like being around nature. That's nice to me. That's, that's relaxing. And out of, like, many, many countries in the world, like, the English countryside is actually amazing. It's beautiful. We have an amazing countryside. So don't judge England based on London or Nottingham or Manchester. Like, actually go out into the English countryside, go to the Peak District, and then tell me England is a shit. Oh, it's not. It's a beautiful place. Yes, I do agree with the points that, okay, like, we are going downhill. The government's not doing a great job here, you know. The NHS is terrible. Um, you know, what? actually, that's another thing. Like, we're sold as, as like, English people. We're really sold on this idea of the NHS. I really don't like our healthcare system. I don't like the free healthcare, the NHS. I don't like it at all because it's terrible. My mum's recently hurt her back. She's like, she's got, a, she's had a lot of pain in her back now for quite a long time, quite a few, quite a good few months, maybe about six months. She's had a, like really bad pain in her back, and then she went into to like get it checked out with the NHS. For a start, it took, like, three months for her to even, like, get someone to see her. It took ages, like, you know, three months of living with this pain for no one to see her. Um, she took three months. She finally got seen by the NHS. And the NHS basically just told her, like, oh, it's all in the head. It's placebo. Um, like, she, she's just imagining it. And they tried to prescribe her placebo pills to, like, help with the pain. I'm like, what? They tried to prescribe a placebo pills because they was like, oh, she's just making it up. But now every time she speaks to the NHS, she doesn't get a doctor. She basically gets like a therapist to like, because they think she's got some sort of mental condition. And then thankfully, we're in a very blessed position now. And my mum went to actually go see an actual doctor that actually knows what he's doing, not this bullshit NHS free healthcare silliness. And then it turns out she's got a slip disc and she's had a slip disc for a while. Usually it can heal by itself, but because it's been there for a while and her muscles have got tight, um, she's having physio. She's been having physio every two weeks. Um, really intense, deep physio to help like relax the muscles so hopefully the thing can go back into place. And also she's been given exercises to do, stretches to do, and stuff like that. And now it's actually getting better. But if we didn't, you know, with the NHS, she was just literally taught, okay, well, that, this is just your life now. There's nothing wrong with you. This is your life now. You've got to live in this with this pain for the rest of your life. 
I know I'm not doing a good job here of selling England, but I just wanted to say that, that the NHS, them trying to tell us that the, our free healthcare system is amazing and it's the best healthcare in the world, blah, 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 is bullshit. But still, it's still a great country. Yes, the, the government doesn't do a great job, but by just always slandering the country, that's not fixing anything. That's not solving our problem, right? By saying, okay, yeah, the UK shit, the government's a mess. That's not, you're not solving the problem here. You're not solving the problem. We fix the country of England by being proud of our country, not by slandering it. Slandering it doesn't do anything. We actually need to try and be the change that we want to see in England. There was some sort of silly statistic, which is, I don't know how they come to this conclusion, but apparently England is now the, is statistically the second most miserable country in the world. Well, maybe it's so miserable because everyone is just talking bad about England rather than, if, if we were just grateful, if we just decided to be, you know what, England is a nice country. You know what, I like the rain. At least I'm not drying up in the desert somewhere, you know. Actually, you know what? We've got a nice green countryside. I like the rain. This is my country. If everyone just had that attitude and everyone was just saying positive things, then it would no longer be the second miserable country in the world, right? It's literally like we inflict it on ourselves with our silly UK slander. If you just take pride in your home, you learn to be grateful for what you've got, then, of course, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy. It's not going to be a miserable country. Happiness is all internal, whether I'm in, I'm in Thailand, whether I'm in the slums somewhere, whether I'm in England, it doesn't matter where I am. I'm, I've got my internal peace. I'm happy. That's a choice that you can make, bro. You can make that choice. England's a great country and I will not accept UK slander here at all. No UK slander. UK is great. Beautiful country, beautiful countryside. This is the country that I'm going to live in for the rest of my life. This is the country where I will raise a family, raise my kids. Uh, this is the country that I am going to be leading my crusade from. I'm going to be leading the crusade from here, just like King Richard back in the day. Also, I'm super grateful to be back home in the UK because of course, like, I mean, this is where my coach is, this is where my, my gym is, Fighter Training Performance Center. Obviously, my mom lives here, so like, you know, obviously I want to see my mom. My mom lives here, my coach, I'm training. This is where most of my students live as well. Like, you know what, I do like the UK. Like one, another annoying thing about the UK is that UK people, are, like English people are really hard to sell to. Like Americans, they're like literally like, something's not right. Like they just, they just fucking throw money at you for no reason. UK people are a bit hard to sell to. They're a little bit tapped, but it's fine. We can make it work. Alpha setters is still alpha setters. We've still got a good community. And yeah, no, I just, I, I love UK guys. I love it here in England. Also one thing about the countryside of England as well, people like to say that, okay, in the UK people are not friendly. Of course I get that. If you're in London, people are not going to give you the time of day. But when you're in the countryside and like you're going to walk throughout the country, every single person you walk past will say hello to you. Every person. They all say hello. England is nice, just not the cities. The countryside, the villages, beautiful places, man. Beautiful places. Even where I'm from, Beverly, that was all right. Hull wasn't the best, but Beverly was, it was nice, man. So yeah, I've got, I've got love for this country. This is where I'm going to live. This is where I'm going to build my empire, boys. No more UK slander here. And if you've never been to the UK, come to UK, bro. Come to UK. Bro, trust me, bro. Go to Peckham. You're going to absolutely love it, bro. So, yeah. Other this help, boys. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, boys, be grateful and keep grinding.